greatest church has ever been. But I think the greatest church in the world can be greater. Amen. Somebody shout, Amen. I said, I believe it's the greatest church in the world. But I believe the greatest church in the world is nowhere near Christ. And we're nowhere near Acts chapter 2. I believe that we can go higher. And it's not going to go higher until we become persevering people. Until we get our heads where it needs to be. And we start praying like we're supposed to pray. Seeking like we're supposed to see. Fasting like we're supposed to fast. Knocking like we're supposed to knock. And if there is ever a group of people that had the capacity, that had the love, and had the desire, stand in the middle of it. But this people needs to wake up, shake yourself, and let's go to war. Help me while I preach. And some of you, some of you, you don't pray long enough. Your head's in the right place, but you don't pray long enough. I read today, George Mueller had five friends. If you don't know who George Mueller is, you need to find out because he was incredible. He had five friends. They began to seek the face of God powerfully for him. In a few months, one of them got, got saved. Ten years later, two of them got converted. And 25 years later, the fourth one got converted. And George Mueller died. And immediately after his funeral, the fifth one got saved. Yes. 52 years. I didn't say 52 seconds. I didn't even say 52 weeks. George Mueller played 52 years, died, and then God answered his prayer. When do you give up? Never. Never. We give up too soon. We need to pray until the answer comes. Jesus says in our text today, Matthew 7, 9 through 11, or what man is there of you who if his son asked bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asked a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give Good gift, good things to them that ask him in the synoptic gospels. One of them says his spirit. How much more would he give his spirit? He says to me, son, ask me. See my face. Knock on my door. He said, because you be infallible, you be an all messed up, know how to bless your children. Your children come to you. I mean, I, I mean, them girls especially. I, I ain't going to even say especially. All four of them. Yeah, they got them, them looks. I'm not going to do it because I'll give myself something. You know them googly eyed looks they have? He's just going to give them something. Sometimes I give them something. They wouldn't want that, but I, I'm going to give them something. They know how to get stuff. Them girls know how to get stuff out of that. They know how to twist me up. Amen. I'm a sucker for a beautiful little dog. Can't help it. They want stuff. I've been thinking about how to get my daughter Ariel Dodge Ram. I ain't sure yet. But I got four years, so I'm, I'm, I got plenty of time. But I'm formulating the plan, man. My baby says she wants a Dodge Ram. Lord Jesus. We got to make that happen. I can't reach it. I can't promise it's going to have a motor in it, but we're going to get it. <laughs> Do you think I love my girls and my sons more than God loves us? There's no way. I don't have the capacity to love like God loves. I don't have the capacity to love you like God loves you. And I'll tell you how I know this for a fact. Because I don't have the capacity to give my son to die for you. But God gave his only begotten son to die for you. I know he loves you. I know he loves you more than I could ever love you. And that God, that king, that Lord, he said, if you know how to give gifts unto your children, he said, how much more do I know how to give to you? God is so awesome that you can say, God, I need this. And God will give you something else. And you say, but I thought I needed that. And he says, son, just let me handle it. He'll not only give you what you ask for, but he'll give you what you really need. You may not even understand what you need. But God loves you so much. He's got you covered. All he wants is you to ask. You to seek. And you to knock. Amen. Stand across the house. 
says, he says, he says.